In the last section of the sidebar, you'll see My Workspaces. If you're collecting resources for a module, organising reading for an assignment, or just preparing for a lecture, a workspace allows you to collate a range of resources all in one place. Here, you can add books, Google Slides, videos, or even PDFs. As long as the content has a web link, you can keep them stored and organised on your workspace and add notes to them all. Clicking on the plus creates a new workspace. Just add a title and a short description and you'll be good to go. To get started, let's add a book to our workspace. Once you've found a book to add, click the arrow on the cover and a drop down menu will appear. Select the workspace you'd like the book to be added to and when you get back to your workspace, you'll find it at the top. You can also click on the add content button to the right hand side and you'll see a drop down menu, allowing you to add more books from Palego or add external content. To add external content, select the option and you'll see a modal pop up. You can then paste the link of any web-based content you're using for your lecture or class and embed it directly into your workspace. If you're unsure what type of content you can add, just refer to the content guidelines provided in this link. Or we've created a workspace, guiding you through everything you need to know about adding external content. One thing to remember is that if you're adding documents, the privacy settings need to be set to public. Once you've copied your web link, paste it in the text box and click add content. You can then access the content and add any lecture notes or instructions, all within your workspace. From books, videos and podcasts, to documents, presentations and PDFs, you can fill your workspace with all the content you need and share it with your students.